Hello and welcome back to my channel, Linda's 144 Hobbies and I'm Linda. Today we're going to do an unboxing, a big one. It's so big, it won't fit in the camera. I've ordered a bit of some, I've ordered some uh, art materials, uh, ink pens, paper, uh, water color brushes because I thought I was going to get ready for Inktober of 2019. So I ordered this uh, two days ago on the what's the 13th today so on the 11th of September and it arrived today on the 13th of September. It's from a store called pen store but it's a Swedish website and you can find all kinds of uh, artistic materials over there it's a great place great service so let's stop talking and get into this thing and I forgot my knife so I'll be right back yes it's never good to come unprepared got my knife Let's start. So the first thing I got was a, um, a table, a table, what do you call that? Uh, well, it's one of those you, you have on the table when you're painting or drawing instead of on the floor. Yeah, you're gonna watch me fighting to get this open. Almost cut myself there. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yes. I was hoping maybe it says in English here a studio easel yes of course easel I knew that yes something like I'm screwing at these uh, wing nuts Oh, come on. Yeah, it wasn't that difficult. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. And what about this then? So I think it was like, uh, you can, the max size up is, 
It is uh, 60 centimeters and the width is like 25 maybe, 20, 25, but you can, you know, you can put a bigger size there. And I don't know why, because there is a wing nut here in the back and there is a, you can't see that. Uh, whoops there's a hole there and I think that it's gonna the wing nut there is gonna go into that hole yes lay it back a little maybe this is a beautiful easel I can tell it's high quality for sure yes so I don't get this at all I think you should be able to like maybe like this This should be loose. So now I can tip it around. And then you have this one here, which you can see here on the side. So you put your, uh, either your, your oil canvas on this one or your watercolor uh, paper, which is, uh, you've uh, put on a piece of uh, a board or you can buy these um, yeah I have one I've ordered one I can show you later it's the words in English I don't know what you call everything so this one you will set which size so this one is max 60 centimeters which is big and I don't ever paint that big so a very very beautiful easel I'm very pleased with it I paid uh, 600 Swedish kroners which is uh, about um, 60 American dollars so that was quite okay I mean the quality is really nice the wood it's very sturdy and I've seen uh, Steve Mitchell in Mind of Watercolor use one of these. So I kind of got on some of his reference. But we have another package. Yes. And here's all the good stuff. So this is the, the watercolor paper I was talking about. And you can see it's like, um, what do you call that? A block, a watercolor pad, a watercolor pad. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry for, for the glare. Um, and there's 12, 12 sheets of you can see me there hello <laughs> 12 sheets of um, paper in it and I think it's glued around the edges so you don't need you know to uh, you know string it up on a board or something so I'm gonna try this and it's archers I think uh, I'm I think it's a very nice quality paper and it's a hot pressed so it's a very it should be kind of smooth 
because I want to sketch. I want to learn how to sketch on it as, at the same time as using the watercolor. And then I got three sketching books for Ink Inkotober. I could get some more expensive, nicer sketchbook, but uh, Jake Parker, who, who is the funder, founder of Inko Inktober, recommended to start out with these kinds of books because then you're not so scared of, you know, if the drawing or doesn't turn out well and then you haven't paid a lot of money on expensive sketchbooks so that's why i decided not to go nice and expensive so you have three of these they're exactly the same and the good thing about this is i think you can actually use it for maybe for uh, mixed media very nice you can it's it lays very flat the the paper is very smooth it's kind of thin but um, it's for practice I'm not gonna do any masterpieces or anything so and it's a I would say almost an a4 size and this was like the extra large uh, books I got. Very nice. Yeah, and then we need something to use to actually paint with and draw with. So I ordered pens. I've been wanting one of these. A graph gear 1000 for a very long time it's a very nice pen you could just buy any other um, you know it's a pencil with a 0 0.5 um, tip and this is a bit on the expensive side but I've always wanted this and I said now now it's the time so I got this so it's a 0 0.5 and I got some of the uh, extra uh, yeah again words I don't know what it's called in English I got some ex extras of these and I wanted B I wanted I like it when it's a bit softer yeah I can't open that I think there's 40 of them 40 this is called stains. Unprepared. I'm sorry. Yes. And then I wanted to try out to start when I'm sketching to start out with blue and I got orange. I didn't get red. Uh, and these are 0 0.7. They didn't have 0 0.5. So I will just use any other pencil for these. And I learned that this is a good way to start when sketching. So I want to try that out. And you can never have enough of these erasers. And I got these babies. It's the fine liner Stedlers. And it was a set of, there's, um, can you see that? Let's see if it focus. Yeah, there is a double zero five, a zero one, zero two, zero three, zero five, and zero eight. So you have all sizes. And these are not like, uh, I'm sorry, the ones that I think are the most beautiful, but they have great quality. 
So this is the double zero five. And let's see if I can show you that the tip there is very, 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 very tiny. Great for small detail. And I will show you the zero point eight. And you can see that the tip there is quite bigger. And they are not water soluble. So you can use water on top of them and it won't smear. And then I got a brush pen from Pentel. So it's the pen and with two uh, refills and the cool thing about this is that it has a brush tip and I have no uh, experience with this but I guess that you Put this one in here and you screw it back on and you can start painting. I will not do that now though. But these uh, I think you use quite a technique to, to when you're using these. You can get a very fine line and you can get a very thick line. Um, and you can maybe use them for coloring a bigger area if you want things, something to be black. As I said, I'm totally, totally new at this, so I don't know much and I just want to learn. And then we have one of these. Oh my God, it's, um, let's see. Come on, focus, please. It's a Raphael 803 Petit Grisper. So it's a mop, we call it in Swedish. It holds a lot of water and color. And I have a bigger one, which I use for backgrounds or when I do big washes. And I wanted, I actually wanted it even smaller than this but it was hard to tell. It says here it's um, the number one. Oh, but I cannot wait to start, you know, using this and just, I don't know, make a sky or something. Very nice. You're not supposed to touch the brush. Uh, and if you would ever get one of these, do not remove the plastic and the, the wire there. That's what's holding the, the brush the hair in, in place. So this is for water calling. Yeah. That was, uh, it was a big order. Um, cost wise, um, I paid about 1,700 Swedish kroners, which is about $170 for this and the weasel. No, not weasel. I'm, oh God, the easel. Uh, and the easel was what was most, exp um, yeah, most uh, expensive. So together, weasel and this 
uh, was uh, $170. Yeah. So uh, that's all for today. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.